from LGIS Studios, I am Anicia Antoine and this is your Midday News Brief. The St. Lucia Tourism Authority, Ministry of Tourism, Invest St. Lucia and Slasper have teamed up to ensure continuous enhancement of St. Lucia's cruise tourism products. Approximately 300 frontline staff of onshore businesses began the customer service frontline training program. The training, hosted by Florida Caribbean Cruise Association, FCCA, is being facilitated by Aquila's Center for Cruise Excellence. The two-day training encompasses tour operator excellence, tour guide excellence, and port excellence, all designed to help the key players in the cruise industry achieve excellence in their ports, tours, guides, and businesses. In an effort to ensure that best practices are adopted, Following the training, frontline officers will be evaluated in their respective lines of duty. The officers, upon completion of training, will become certified frontline experts in customer service. The Make It Happen Foundation, since inception, has been devoted to helping police officers and firefighters with upgrades to their workspaces and providing equipment where needed. The foundation, spearheaded by Raquel Dubule, has broadened its reach to support women victims of domestic violence and their dependent children. In recent years, the Women's Support Center has developed a student assistance program through which children of clients receive assistance with the acquisition of school supplies, uniforms, and in some cases, payment of school fees. In March, the foundation hosted the first ever Tea and Testimony event, which brought over 300 women together to help raise funds for the Women's Support Center. On April 29th, the foundation made a check presentation in the amount of $15,000 to the center from the proceeds of the tea and testimony event. As the key economic pillar for future growth, considerable attention has been paid to the village tourism strategy. Some 20 game changers have been developed to accelerate growth in both tourist arrivals and tourist receipts. The aim is to increase stayover tourists from 386,000 arrivals in 2017 to 541,000 by 2022. The Honorable Prime Minister during his budget presentation revealed that whether it is in adventure tourism, eco-tourism, heritage tourism or wellness tourism, the country must evolve its product beyond the package-based offerings now reasonably well covered in its market. Part of the new approach is formal agreements with sharing economy providers like Airbnb. Village tourism will allow interested persons to become participants in the value chain of tourism and improve their social outcomes. The key economic targets of the tourism sector strategy are to increase GDP contributions to 1.9 billion by 2022, attract investments of 3.5 billion by 2022, and create over 4,000 jobs by 2022. This has been your midday news brief. Thank you for watching.